Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to do now a sharpening in this picture, not just an ordinary sharpening, but a sort of an enhanced high pass sharpen. So if I go into here, you can see within this there is a little bit of a blur out here and some things here are a bit vague. So what I'm going to do as well is to start off here, because I'm going to be kind of stretching things a bit, go to document and I go to convert format. And I check this is 16 bit. If it's not, I'm going to turn that up to 16. This means the transitions are going to be a bit smoother. So the next thing I'm going to do is to show you the high pass. We'll talk about how we do it. So there's a high pass filter. And if I turn this up here, you can see the line start appearing, the edges. It's effectively doing an edge detect. And what we're going to do normally is we put on an overlay or some other of the contrast blend modes. Often we use linear light. But those contrast blend modes, grey becomes transparent. So you just see the original picture underneath. But where there's light and dark, light will make the picture underneath lighter and dark will make it darker. So it enhances it and this is how sharpening works. So that if I do that here, I'm just going to go down to linear light, the normal one we use, you can see there that it's lighter this side, darker that side. And in fact, if I then go to this here, notice here how light and dark it is. Normally I don't go that high. In fact, watch this line as I bring this down. So I bring this down here to one pixel and that light and dark other side there is only very subtle and you haven't got that kind of effect. But I'm going to go back here to normal now and you can't, you can hardly see those lines now. So this is where the enhancement comes out. Because this is just a grey layer with light and dark on it, we can make the lights lighter and the darks darker. And the way to do that is I go to levels and if I bring the black into the line here and I bring the white into the line here and I make sure those two numbers add up to 100. So I got 44 and 58 so I need to bring this down I think to 42 and 58 and then that means this is balanced which means we're keeping the grey. Notice here, this is getting rather noisy, so we need to do something about that. You can try a denoise, let's see what happens. If I bring that up, it takes quite a while to get there and it's still rather bitty. Uh, let's try a bilateral blur, because a bilateral blur blurs, but not where there's lines. So I go to that here. I can see already this is far better. I've lost the lines a bit here, so I'm going to bring this down a bit so the lines cap, and this is a very fine balancing. I then tweak the tolerance a bit to see if that's going to make a difference. The main control is going to be the radius. I think that's a lot better. We can still see the lines there. Now we're going to do something else here, which is to go to View, Studio, and to the Info panel. And then if I drag that little circle into the middle of here, these three numbers should be the same, and they also should be in mid-grey. And look, this goes 1, 3, 2, 1, 1, 3, 2. What, those three should be the same. And they're not the same because when I did the high pass here, I didn't click the monochrome box. Click that, you can see they're all the same. Now then, I want to get those back to 1, 2, 7, 1, 2, 8, the midpoint. So I'm going to go to a brightness and contrast. I'm going to tweak the brightness, so watch the 131 there. So if I turn that down one, down again, down again, there I've got this 128. So I've just adjusted it to get that perfect mid grey in the where the greys are. I can, while I'm here as well, turn up the contrast a bit, see if I can actually pull those lines out a bit further. How about that? Now then, I'm going to combine all these into a single layer to do with what I would normally do with just the high pass. To do that, I'm going to hit Control J to duplicate the background because I need it twice here. Because so I'm going to click there, Shift click here, then Control G to make a group. 
and this is like the normal high pass layer. So now I just put in the blend mode here of linear light and I've got a very, very strong effect here. If I've got a bit blotchy out here still, I can still put in a noise reduction, so denoise, turn up the luminescence here until that smooths out the sky a bit and I still haven't lost the detail in here. And in fact, everything in that group is still live, so I can go back and tweak any of it. Control zero gets me out. You can see how strong this effect is here. In fact, it's so strong, I might want to turn it down. If you want to see what it's really like, control one gets you to 100%. And you can see that. By the way, to get rid of the info box, you've got to click the little arrow there to get rid of that. And then turn that off there. This is still rather strong. Let's look at further out. See, like in the C, for example, I just go to the group there and turn that down. In fact, I can probably go down to around about 50%. So I've got all that leeway to increase the sharpening as I like. And even at 50%, look at the before and after. It's quite significantly improved. Anyway, that's it. And thank you very much for watching.